So let's just talk about event handling in React. So event handling is the process of responding to user actions or events in an application. Like an example, suppose we have one button. Now whenever the user click on that button, that generates one event. And we can use different methods to handle that event. Like an example, we can use one click event handler, which is used to handle click events. Similarly, we have on change event handler and this handler used in a form to capture the changes. Similarly, also we have on submit event handler, we have on focus event handler, we have on blur event handler and so on. So here we have one functional component which returns one button which says click me. Now whenever we click on that button, it generates click event. Now we can handle this event using the on click event handler. So we can use on click. On click of that button, we can call a function. So we can call handle click function. And then we have to define that const handle click. And here we're just gonna simply console log button clicked. So whenever we click on that button, it will call this function and we get to see button clicked on the console. So whenever we click on that, you can see we have this button clicked event. Similarly, also we have on change event handler, which is primarily used with the form elements. Suppose we have one input form. So we're getting this error because in React, we must only return one root element. We cannot return multiple elements. So here we're gonna use the JSX fragment wrap around those two components. And now there is no error. So here we have one input element with the type as text. So here we have this input element, but whenever we type in this element, it triggers the on change event. So we can handle that using the on change event handler and we can call a method handle change. Now let's just define that method. So whenever any change happens to this input element, we are simply going to console log input changed. If we type anything inside that input form, you can see it triggers the handle change event and we get to see input changed in the console. Similarly, also we have the focus and blur event so we can handle them by using on focus event handler and on blur event handler. So we're gonna call handle focus method and on blur we're gonna call handle blur method. So let's now define them. So on focus we're gonna just console log input focused and on blur we're gonna console log input blurred. So in this form we are handling multiple events like whenever we click on that button we have a button clicked whenever we focus in the input it calls the input focused and whenever we go out of focus then also it called input blurred and whenever we type in that input box it calls the on change event so this way we can use multiple event handlers and we can handle multiple user events so that's it for the video See you in the next one. Take care.